Okay, this video is going to be over translating linear functions horizontally. So let's start out by uh, graphing this function right here, f of x equals 2x. So just like last time, we would just assign values of x. So let's say when x is 0, then f of x is 2 times 0, which makes 0. And we would get the point at the origin. Okay, when x is 1, f of x is 2 times 1, so then we'd get f of x is 2, and we'd have a coordinate point at 1, 2. Okay? And I've marked this off at 2, so we want to go halfway for 1, and then up all the way to 2, and we're, it's going to be right here on this 2 part here. Okay, and so then the if f of x is, or if x is negative 1, then we have f of x is 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2. And so we'd have, again, halfway in between, and there's a point right here. And so we should get a function, a linear function that looks like this. Okay? Let's try the next one. And I'm going to do this one in red. So f of x equals 2 times x plus 3 f of x, let's see, so let's assign values. When x is 0, we'd have 0 plus 3 makes 3, and then times 2 makes 6. When x is 1, we'd have uh, 1 plus 3 is 4, times 2 is 8. Okay, and let's do negative 1. When f of x is negative 1, then we'd have negative 1 plus 3 is 2, times 2 is 4. And so we should get these three points. So 0, 6, which is up here. Okay. Uh, let's see. 1, 8, which is going to be here's 1, and then 8 is probably going to be about right there. And then negative 1, 4. Negative 1, 4. It's about right there. And so we should end up getting this line right here. Sorry about my drawing. And it should end up passing through the point at negative 3, 0. Let's see if that's true. So when x is negative 3, we'd have negative 3 plus 3 makes 0, times 2 is 0. So that is a point, negative 3, 0. So if you notice, this is uh, when we added 3 to, to x inside the parentheses, okay, before we ended up doing stuff like, um, like f of x equals x plus 3, it was outside the parentheses, or 2x plus 3, for example. But this one is inside the parentheses. It shifts, and this is kind of opposite, but when you add 3, it actually shifts this graph to the left, 3 units. Okay, and it's every time. One, two, three. Right? Uh, let's see, this is at, here's a point at two, and so we'd have one, two, three, and it shifts it over three units. Okay? Let's try the next one. f of x is equal to two times x minus three. So let's assign some values. I'm going to assign three as one of them. Okay, because that seems like it's going to be pretty easy. So when x is 3, it's going to be 3 minus 3 is 0. So and then 0 times 2 makes 0. So we should have a point at 3, 0. Okay, let's try when x is 0. So then we'd have 0 minus 3 is negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Okay, so we'd have a point there. And let's try a negative value, so maybe negative 1. We'd have negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. And so we'd get negative 1, negative 8. So let's plot these points, okay? Uh, notice I chose different values. I didn't, I, I've been choosing like uh, 0, 1, and negative 1, but you don't have to choose those. You can choose any values that you wish, okay? So we'd have 1 at 0, at 3, 0, which is right here. Uh, at 0, negative 6, here's 0, and then negative 6. And then negative 1, negative 8. Negative 1, negative 8. And it's kind of going to go off the graph slightly. And so we have, if I found like when x is 2, when x is 1, we should find 
I could find when x is like one half or even when x is 3.14, right? When it's pi. It's all these values. And so if we check this out, last uh, uh, during this graph, when we added 3, it moved it over th to the left 3 units, kind of opposite. Here, when we subtracted 3, inside the parentheses, it moved it to the right 3 units. And so when we have, this is based off the function f of x is equal to a x minus h, like so. Okay, and when so when we end up subtracting or adding a uh, a constant h in this format, like so, then we will end up doing a horizontal shift. All right. Notice that we we move this horizontally, so you will end up moving it in a horizontal motion. Horizontal, horizontal shift or translation. I think I used translation last time, so to stay consistent, I'll use it this time as well. So translation. Okay. Keep in mind the difference, right? It has to be inside the parentheses.